Filtering data in Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central is really easy and you have many options that you can use. So firstly, when you're on a page of data, so here I'm on the customers list page, if I know the company I want to find, I can complete the search here. I don't need to tell it which column I'm looking across. I give it Candoxy and it will find all the records that contain Candoxy somewhere in the name. In fact, it's going to search across all the columns. So if I clear that, if I'm looking for a particular customer and it's there's something to do with London, either their name or their location, give it the keyword I'm looking for, and it finds these first two records that have London in the name, but also it finds the remaining four records here that are tied into the Responsibility Centre of London. I can give it part of a word and it'll pull things back. So if I give it ELE, that's part of the name, it highlights electronics and electro Maroc. It's also part of the third one, but on the fourth one, it's found as part of Gabrielle's name. So I can use this kind of wildcard search and find anywhere it finds those search terms appearing within any of the data items currently on the screen. So it only works with the visible columns. If I want to go a little bit further, I've got options. So for example, if I want to filter this list down, each of the columns has a menu that I can open up. I have filter and filter to this value. So I'm interested in finding all the customers from the blue warehouse. I select the line that has the data item blue that interests me in the correct column. For that column, I click the drop down and I choose filter to this value. This opens up the filter pane here on the left hand side and adds that value into my filter on location code and I see the records that interest me. If I clear this, I'm back to the full list and hit the cross to close down that, that filter pane. Same kind of thing from that menu, I can go filter and it will open the filter pane and it will insert that location code, that column I came from as my filter option, but it's waiting for me to then give it the criteria I wish to search by and the little drop down here, the lookup, will help me find the records that are of interest. Again, take your filter out, close the filter pane. Another way of working could be to use the keyboard shortcut, Shift and F3. That will open up the filter pane ready for me to start adding the filter as I wish. So I could go and build my filter in layers now. So firstly, I want to filter by one of the visible columns. I want to filter by location code. And I want to see blank location code, perhaps. Two apostrophe should do this. Not shift and two, but a double apostrophe. There we go. And now the records for just the blank locations, i.e. that are not permanently tied to a particular warehouse. I want a second level of filter, though. This will be to the ones that have a balance with us at the moment. So what I want to show is the ones where the balance is not zero. And there's my records. And if I click Reset Filters, everything's cleared away, ready to start again. When you're working like this, you might want to hide the fact box pane on the right hand side for a while, just so you've got a full view of what data is actually available to you on the currently visible columns. You can add in further columns by personalizing the page. There's a separate video looking into this. I can also filter by non-visible columns. So if I add a filter on the second section, see here I've got a list of the most of the columns available to me on this table in the database. Uh, city is not a visible column here. If I choose city, what I want is to see everyone in London. And there's my four records that have the field of city set to London. Just to check one of these, for example, 
I'm expecting that one should be because it's got London in the name. If I check, record 60,000. On the address and contact, fast tab, we see City is indeed London. Okay. Now I've got the list of data that interests me. If I choose open in Excel, I would just see those filtered results. So it's a much better way of working. So here's the data. Notice it's just the four records that I have from that filter and just the visible columns. That's a much better way of working rather than exporting everything, having to delete out the data that you do not want. OK, so I clear my filters. There is also a very nice new feature. So if I say that I want to filter by the customer number, but I don't want to enter a long list. I mean, I can enter a multiple list here. So what I could do is say I want to look at 10,000 and then use the pipe and 20,000 and use the pipe, 30,000 and so on to get a list of three customers. Pipe is shift and backslash. You'll find it on your keyboard, just the left of Z usually. There's my three records I want. Okay, this could be quite laborious though to put up a long list. On the role center, so if I just go back to the role center, there is a feature down here called My Customers. Now this is quite good. This gives me quick access to accounts that I will always want to have quick access to. Um, key accounts, for example. So on this list, I have five customers set up for the My Customers Quick Access. If I return to the customers list and I clear this filter. Now we're in the, uh, the small tiles view here. I can change this. I want to go back to the traditional list. It makes a bit more sense to my mind anyway for filtering. So So now I'm back on the traditional list view. What I want to do is see a list of those customers that are in that group of my customers. To do this, I use the new tag, percentage my customers. Press enter. It inserts the numbers, the customer numbers for the five that you saw earlier that are in that list of the my customers. This is nice. This gives me quick access to here the card pages, but this could be a list of documents created for my customers, and it means I'm not having to add in the particular numbers each time I want to look at the people from that list. What you'll notice is when I'm doing this kind of filtering, a funnel will appear to indicate the column or columns that are being filtered, and I can click the little drop down, and there's an option here to clear filter takes away the filter, removes the filter from here, but doesn't close the filter pane. So Shift and F3 will close away that filter pane. 